Hey again, guys. Josh from Destin for Wild here. Uh, some exciting news for us, but uh, we think we found it. This is a 1998 Forerunner, and we're going to give you a look around at uh, what she has. A couple of features that it has that we're still contemplating on keeping or trading out or doing different things with. But one of the things that we liked is it came with a coastal off road front bumper out of Vancouver. This is a solid steel bumper with a closed top, which I really like. It also has a nine and a half uh, thousand pound winch uh, within the bumper as well, as well as LED fog lights inside the bumper. I really like this because then if we ever get stuck in a situation, we're able to get ourselves out, which is really nice. Also underneath, it has a Savage Off-Road full metal skid plates, as well as a Coastal Off-Road uh, fuel skid plate. So I really like that because then it's kind of protected all the fun bits underneath. So you don't really have to, really have to worry about breaking anything underneath, which is nice. So as for tires, thankfully the previous owner had literally just thrown these tires on. They're 33 inch Falcon Wild Peak AT3s. They literally had 50 kilometers on them when we bought it. So it's funny, there's actually still the paint on the tires, which is fantastic. So that saves us a lot right there. It has a four inch lift in it as well, which is really nice. Uh, it has Bilstein, I believe it's the 5100s underneath, which gives it, I believe a two inch lift as well as a two inch body lift. But come on around to the back and I'll show you what we have for the back and what we're planning on doing with it. So on the rear as well, it has the matching uh, Coastal Off-Road high clearance rear bumper with it. We really like this. And one of the things that we're gonna actually be doing is you can get a kit to weld on a rear swing arm. So that allows it so you can have a uh, fuel tanks on the back as well as an extra spare tire. As with this, you don't really want too much underneath as it just kind of uh, takes away from your ground clearance. And we actually have a full size spare that came with the car as well. So we're gonna throw that on the back as well. One of the other features that we really like as well, but it's honestly probably gonna end up coming off for us, but we have a full aluminum roof rack, which is really nice. So this is actually bolted into the full body of the vehicle. This goes all the way from the front to the back. And it's actually strong enough where you can even stand on it, which is really cool. Uh, some of the things that we're planning on doing with this vehicle though, where you're probably gonna see it change over the next year and a bit, is we're gonna fully camperize the inside of this. So initially our first plan was we're trying to find a Toyota Land Cruiser, but living in Canada, it's hard to find and we're looking for specifically a left-hand drive one, which is even harder to find. So we looked around for a couple of months and weren't able to really find anything. We liked the idea of getting one of the Land Cruisers and uh, building it out similarly to the um, 70 series troop carriers, where it has more of like the pop top high roof in it. And we started to see that done with more of the 80 series. We really loved that idea, but that got us thinking of, if you can do it with a Land Cruiser, why couldn't you do it with a 4Runner? So what our plan is with this is we're actually going to end up chopping the roof off eventually and we're gonna be adding in a high roof that we can pop out. So similar to kind of like a rooftop tent or similar to a Westphalia build. So it's gonna be a little bit of DIY, a little bit of fabrication, trying to figure that out. If anybody has any information or if anybody would like to help us with that, please let us know, cause I'd absolutely love to have some help with that as I have no idea what I'm doing, but that's all part of the adventure. But now I'll go into why we picked the foreigner. So we had been looking around into the first generation Tacomas, the Land Cruisers, as well as, uh, uh, Defenders. So we had been looking at all of those, trying to figure out what would be the best thing and what would be the most ideal. The things that kept coming up for us, which were important to us, were one, reliability, two, the payload, three, the ability to get parts, and four, how easy it was to fix these things. So we had been looking around, hemming and hawing about the different stuff, and just kind of figure like, you know what? I want to have something that I can fix on the side of the road, worst case scenario, and that already cut out half the vehicles. One of the reasons we went with the 4Runner is, I'm already quite familiar with a lot of Toyotas, and with this one specifically, it's got the 3.4 liter V6. So thankfully I've already owned uh, two or three other Tacomas that had the 3.4 liter, and I absolutely love that engine. Super easy to work, in, work on. Uh, it has a timing belt, but if the timing belt snaps, it doesn't actually wreck the engine, which is huge. So I already cut out a lot of the problems that I was worried about. They're super easy to find parts with. They're super basic engines to work on, and I love working on them. So we figured like, know what? If we can find that, that's even better. So that kind of narrowed us down to a handful of different vehicles. And as we we're kind of looking away, we started to stray away from the truck. We wanted to have something more that we were able to sleep inside of rather than sleep out of, where if we went with more, say, uh, a pickup or something along those lines, we'd have to have a camper that we'd actually have to get out of the truck into the back and then to go back inside. We had been looking into finding a Toyota Ch Chinook, but we had been looking around for probably about three years and I have only ever seen one in person or two in person, but both of them were not running. Both of them were honestly pretty destroyed. So we just kind of figured that was a dream to kind of give up on. And that's, we came to the idea of the foreigner. So with this one as well, it already had most of the work done that we wanted to do. 
already had the bumpers, already had the skid plates, already had the lift kit, has brand new tires underneath of it already. We just kind of figure like, know what? This has most of the stuff that we already want done to it. So it saves us the time and the money from doing so. We got an incredible deal on it. The old owner had done a ton of work to it and had only owned it for a few months before having to get rid of it. We're super thankful that we were able to get this and the problems that it had, we were really able to fix in just a couple of days, which wasn't really a big deal. And thankfully, a lot of the other problems with this, it's pretty easy to figure out. And I like to work on cars myself in our backyard, so it's really not too big of a deal for us. So this is our 1998 uh, Toyota 4Runner. We're really excited for where it's gonna go. We're gonna take you along with some of the stuff that we're doing with it along the way. So you'll be following us with our build as we're building this out for us to hit the Pan American Highway in 2023. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Have a good one.